वेलकम टू डी ए वी मॉइल पब्लिक स्कूल ई क्लास स्टैंडर्ड नाइन्थ इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी कोड फोर जीरो टू आवर टॉपिक इज यूनिट वन दैट इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू आई टी एंड आई टी इज इंडस्ट्री एंड टूडेज सब टॉपिक इज बी पी एम इंडस्ट्री इन इंडिया एंड इट्स स्ट्रक्चर In the last session, we have discussed about information technology enabled services means information technology that enable the business by improving the quality of service is ITs that is information technology enabled services. In last session, we have also discussed about BPO services, that is business process outsourcing services, which performs business operations through an outside service provider. In today's session, we are going to learn about BPM industry in India. The information technology BPM, that is. business process management industry has been fueling india's growth because in bpm the business process management of any organization or any industry is done by information technology by contributing towards the country's gross domestic product that is gdp and exports gdp that is gross domestic product is monetary value of all finished goods and services made within a country during a specific period so by contributing gdp and exports bpm industry in india is contributing for the country's growth the growth of the it bpm industry has proved india with a wide range of economic and social benefits which includes creating employment raising income levels and promoting experts in last session we have also discussed about the economic and social benefits of it's industry because it is very obvious that when we are providing any service or any kind of product to the customers it will definitely result in creating employment and raising income levels which obviously promotes exports it has placed india on the world map with an image of a technologically advanced and knowledge based economy india is doing very well in the information technology enabled services and business process empowered by it so on the world map we have created an image of a technologically advanced and knowledge based economy this sector attracts amongst the largest investment by venture capitalist this business process management industry related with information technology is profit making and an emerging trend worldwide hence this sector attracts the largest investments by various capitalist the information technology bpm industry has almost doubled in terms of revenue and contribution to india's gdp over the last decade 
टू टू थाउजेंड एटीन दिस इंडस्ट्री हैज डबल द रेवेन्यू बिकॉज द वेरियस सर्विसेस एंड प्रोडक्ट्स प्रोवाइडेड बाय दिस इंडस्ट्री आर गेटिंग वेरी पॉपुलर थ्रू आउट द वर्ल्ड हैंस इट हैज बीन रिजल्टेड इन टू इंडिया जी डी पी रेट नाउ वी विल स्टडी हाउ द बी पी ओ सर्विस इंडस्ट्री इज डूइंग एक्सेप्शनली वेल इन इंडिया बिकॉज इट हैज फॉलोइंग एडवांटेजेस the first advantage of bpo service industry is that bpo service providers in india invest in high tech hardware and software to deliver the best of services the information technology enabled services deals with or invest in high tech hardware and software components to produce the best service or to produce the best output and they also follow the quality checks to ensure error free and exceptional service the second advantage is government of india is encouraging the bpo industry in india by providing necessary infrastructure and logistical support the it bpm industry is growing very fast in india hence indian government is encouraging such bpo industry by giving them necessary infrastructure and the logical support third is bpo industry in india is highly developed and capable of delivering numerous types of bpo services in exceptional quality in last session we have discussed about the various bpo services which india is providing to the world these services includes financial and accounting services taxation and insurance services legal services document management services software testing healthcare services etc so that's why bpo services are doing exceptionally well in the terms of quality next topic is structure of the it bpm industry the information technology business process management industry is divided basically or categorized basically into three basic types the organizations within the it bpm industry are categorized along the following parameters means that any organization or any firm which comes under it bpm industry are categorized according to the following parameters into three basic types the first parameter for the categorization is sector the organization is serving means that the sector or the type of service the organization is going to serve or going to give to the customers second is type as well as range of offering the organization provides means the type of service or the type of product as well as the range means how much will be the extent of that organizational services means whether we are going to serve to the specific organization only or the specific area only or the specific city or the country next is geographic spread of operations 
the geographic spread obviously involves the geographical area of the operations which the organization will carry the next is revenues and size of operations the revenues means the income generated by the organization or the profit made by the organization and the size of operations which the organization is dealing with means small scale for example small scale industry large scale industries etc on the basis of these parameters which have discussed now the bpm industry is categorized basically into three types first is multinational companies that is mncs the mncs have their headquarters outside india but operate in multiple locations worldwide including those in india means that the multinational companies have their headquarter or their head office outside our country or outside india but they operate worldwide means they provide their services all over the world including in india also they cater to external clients both domestic and or global means they provide their services to both type of clients the clients may be domestic and or global the example of multinational companies are coca cola google amazon etc these companies have their headquarters or their origin or their head office outside india but they are providing the services or goods to the world including india also they can also have their offices in india the next type of it bpm industry is indian service providers that is isps isps started with their operations in india means basically they have started their working in india only most of these organizations have their headquarters in india while having offices in many international locations means that this type of organizations or this type of companies have originated in india have their headquarters in india but they are offering services to the world also means they are having their offices in many international locations also while most have a client base which is global as well as domestic there are some that have focused on serving only the indian clients means that most of these indian service providers provides their services to the clients that are global as well as domestic means from overall the world or from the country only but there are some companies or organizations that have focused on giving their services to the indian clients specifically some of the examples of indian service providers are tcs that is tata consultancy services hcl infosys wipro satyam etc these companies have originated in india but 
now they are offering their services to the world the third type of bpm industry is global in house centers that is gic gic organizations cater to the needs of their parent company only and do not serve external clients means that type of companies or organization are working for the need of their parent company means their owner company only and they do not give their services to any external client or any other client than their parent company this model allows the organization the option to keep information technology operations in house and at the same time take advantage of expanding their global footprint and offering opportunities for innovation in cost effective manner so this type of global in house centers allows the organization or the company or the firm to keep their it operations in house and at the same time they also give advantage of expanding their global footprint and offering opportunities in an cost effective manner because they don't outsource any type of services or products so it can be resulted into cost cutting or the, they can give a cost effective service to their parent company and definitely it will help them to expand their footprints or to present their global image so in the next session we will discuss about various applications of information technology means how information technology is useful in various fields till then take care and goodbye thank you